in case the COVID situation goes out of hand. But moving on, the parliament has been adjourned six days ahead of schedule and just like the monsoon session, this time too we didn't see much business happening in the houses of parliament. Parikshit is here to tell us more. Parikshit, over to you. Well, uh, yes, uh, we have been seeing repeated disruptions of the house. The opposition had been demanding a discussion on the India-China clashes in Tawang. Manish Tiwari, Malika Karge, several Congress leaders, leaders of the TMC and other opposition parties had been submitting a German motion asking for uh, a discussion, a full-fledged discussion on the floor of the house. That did not happen. The government says that uh, the House has been adjourned sine die ahead of schedule after full consensus uh, with all political parties. The Lok Sabha functioned for about 68.9 hours and Rajya Sabha for 72 hours. Uh, we didn't see any significant government business being transacted. There were 25 bills that had been identified for being taken up during this session. Seven were to be introduced. Uh, only two uh, of uh, those major bills uh, we saw them being passed in uh, Parliament. One was the Energy Conservation Amendment Bill, which was, uh, uh, which was pending since the last session. It was passed in the Rajya Sabha. And then you had the Constitution Scheduled Tribes uh, Order Bill 2022. This was passed by Parliament. So we didn't see any uh, significant legislation being passed in uh, those 10 days, 10 or 11 days that the Parliament really took place. All right, Pariksha, thanks a lot for getting us all of the details here. But with that, we have to take another short break on the show. You don't go anywhere. There's lots more news and updates coming up for you on the other side.